Good morning, everybody. I hope all y'all are doing well. Uh, I, I sure do miss y'all. Uh, miss being able to fellowship with you. And so does Austin uh, and Lexi. Austin asked us about twice a week, at least, if if we can get ready and go to church, because he misses church, and we need to go back to church. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, last week, Lexi was showing me a video on Facebook, and uh, it was a guy explaining a topic that some people find confusing, and some people overthink, and and he just simplifies it and in such a perfect way and I decided when, as soon as I heard it that this had to be my communion meditation so he said uh, if I was holding a basketball that basketball would be worth about $15 but if LeBron James was holding that basketball it would be worth 30 to $40 million it depends on whose hands it's in if I was holding a football, it'd be worth 10 to $12. But if Peyton Manning was holding that football, it'd be worth about 50 to $60 million. It depends on whose hands it's in. Well, if I had a <clears throat> set of golf clubs or, or a golf club, it'd be worth about 50 bucks maybe. But you put that same exact golf club in Tiger Woods' hands, and it's worth $80 million. It depends on whose hands it's in. Well, if I have a stick, I could probably scare off some predators or, or an animal, a wild animal. You put that same stick in Moses' hands and he could part the Red Sea with God's help. It depends on whose hands it's in, though. You got a slingshot, you've got a kid's toy. But you put a slingshot in David's hands... And it's a weapon that he used to slay a giant. It depends on whose hands it's in. If I had um, two fish and five loaves of bread, I could make a couple fish sandwiches with some bread left over, but that's about it. You put that same fish and bread in Jesus' hands and he, could, and he fed thousands. It depends on whose hands it's in. If I had a couple nails, I could start a wood project I wouldn't get very far with a couple nails but I could start a project and uh, maybe a birdhouse or a bird feeder but you put those same two nails in Jesus' hands and he it leads to salvation and eternal life for those that love him and trust him it depends on whose hands they're in so the worries and the things that stress us out and keep us awake at night. If that's all we ever let them be. If that's all we ever do with them. That's all they will ever be. But if we put those in Christ's hands. Put all our worries and our concerns and our requests in God's hands. Then... He'll see it through. He'll see us through whatever we come and come to. We, we need to place our whole lives, our bodies and our spirit in God's hands. And not just the areas that we think we need help with. And He'll take care of us. And He'll, he'll take care of our every need. It all depends on, on whose hands it's all in. Let's pray. God, as we're preparing for communion this morning and we're preparing our hearts and our minds, please forgive us for the things that we've done. May we open our hearts to you and go where you lead us and do what you would have us to do and say the words that you would have us to say. Thank you for your son's sacrifice for us on the cross that paid the way for our salvation. We could have never paid on our own, but it took a, a sacrifice that big and that monumental. Someone so sinless and perfect to give his life up for a world that's so sinful. And, uh, 
God, when we worry, help us to remember whose hands we're in. In Jesus' name, amen. I got the whole world in my hands. 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 I